Hi there, welcome to Deploying Windows Virtual Desktop in Microsoft Azure. My name is Thomas Mitchell and I'll be taking you through this course. I'm the founder of labitout.com, the website that IT professionals rely on to learn how to deploy real-world IT solutions. I'm a 25-year veteran of the IT industry and I possess significant cloud experience. If you have any questions about this course, feel free to ask or connect with me on LinkedIn. Featuring over 35 video lectures and detailed hands-on demonstrations, this course will teach you how to deploy Windows Virtual Desktop in Microsoft Azure, leveraging Azure Active Directory domain services. We'll kick things off with an introduction and an explanation of what to expect before diving headfirst into what Windows Virtual Desktop is and how it works. After you're introduced to Windows Virtual Desktop, you'll learn how to deploy and configure Azure AD domain services to support Windows Virtual Desktop. More specifically, you'll learn how to add a custom domain to Azure AD, how to create test users in Azure AD, and then how to perform the actual Azure AD domain services deployment. Once we have Azure Active Directory domain services deployed, we'll update DNS on the domain services network, create an AD admin account, and then force the sync of password hashes from Azure AD to Azure Active Directory domain services. We'll even deploy and configure a management VM that will be used to manage the Azure AD domain services. With most of the prerequisite work complete, we'll set up the virtual network that will host our Windows Virtual Desktop deployment. After provisioning the Windows Virtual Desktop virtual network, we'll connect the network to the Azure ADDS network so our Windows Virtual Desktop deployment can communicate with Azure AD domain services. With all infrastructure in place for our Windows Virtual Desktop deployment, we'll license our test users and register the Windows Virtual Desktop provider with our Azure subscription. Next, we'll begin the actual deployment of Windows Virtual Desktop. We'll create a host pool, deploy pool VMs, and register a workspace. We'll then assign the desktop application group to our test users before creating and assigning a few remote applications as well. Coming down the home stretch, you'll learn how to customize the Windows Virtual Desktop workspace. For example, you'll learn how to change the name of your workspace, how to change the name of your virtual desktops, and how to install and use the Windows Virtual Desktop client for Windows. We'll round out the course with an optional section on FS Logics. In this section, you'll learn how to install and configure FS Logics so you can host Windows Virtual Desktop profiles in an Azure file share. We'll then test to make sure our profiles are created in the Azure file share. By the time you finish this course, you should have a solid understanding of how to deploy Windows Virtual Desktop in Microsoft Azure and integrating the deployment with Azure Active Directory domain services.